29th of August and Vader number 29, I can't believe it, two days left. The whole month has seemed to vanish and um, yeah, I can't believe I'll have been in New Zealand from the start to finish of Vader and heading back to the UK on a plane on Saturday evening which will be Saturday morning back home in the UK which will be Friday afternoon and evening in the USA. And today I had a look at the calendar on uh, Amy Schmitter's uh, website and see that it's about talking about something that's in the news. Um, New Zealand doesn't have very much news, which um, is an interesting topic in itself because um, it's a pretty... Oh, it's rubbish collection day. Noisy lorry outside. Um, because it's quite a low population of people here and it's a really safe country um, not very much happens that makes the news headlines and the stuff that does make the news headlines is usually quite um, comical so I've just been having a look on the BBC website to find out what's going on in the news back home and um, I guess it's kind of funny because I'm trained from days of being a child or to not really to tune out of the news when I'm on holiday and to just kind of lose touch a little bit of what's going on back home and switch into holiday mode because I've been here a whole month and I've been working and um, obviously getting married and going on honeymoon and all those kind of things I've kind of automatically switched off from the news so it was really good to be prompted to look at the BBC website today um, some big stuff happening but I wanted to pick out something um, that wasn't quite probably the main headlines and one of the things I found was about um, a lorry driver who has been charged back in the UK um, for killing a couple when his lorry toppled onto their car as he read a text message. And he's been jailed for five years and three months for, uh, I think, murder. Um, uh, causing death by dangerous driving. So the police reports have identified that this man had received a text message just over a minute before his lorry um, hit into this vehicle that had the couple in. Um, and when they investigated further, they found that he'd sent and received almost 100 messages to and from the same person in the three days leading up to this accident. And they were all, when the lorry's tachograph showed the vehicle was being driven. So over 100 messages preceding this accident while he was um, in control of this lorry. The reason this is interesting, the reason I picked it, is because I was pulled over back home a few months ago for, um, or the police officer thought I was texting while I was driving. And I debated it, I disputed it, because um, the clock in my car wasn't working, and I have an iPhone, and when it's locked, if I just press the home button, it flashes up the clock. I was in a bit of a rush to go and collect my daughter, so I thought it was a good way to just check how I was doing for time. So I picked up my phone in one hand, pressed the button, looked at the clock, and was caught by a police officer. In the UK, it's illegal to be using a mobile phone. You have to be entirely hands-free while you're in control of a car, down to the fact that you're not allowed to make or receive a phone call or text message unless you are pulled over safely and the keys are actually out of the ignition of your car. So if your engine's running, you can still be charged for um, sending and receiving messages or whatever it is. Um, so anyway, the... Um, end result of this was that I had to go on a uh, driver awareness course and to be honest I have always wanted to go on one of these you could I had the option to take the points and pay the fine and get points on my license or I could go on this driver awareness course that was I think three hours um, a little bit more money but um, meant I didn't get any points on my license and it wasn't particularly the points incentive that made me want to go for it just just the fact that I really wanted to go and find out what this um, awareness course was about and I have to say, before, I, like I say, I was disputing the fact that I wasn't actually texting when the policeman pulled me over and said I was texting. But what I found out from this course was that the one simple thing that I took away from it was the fact that if I take my eyes off the road for two seconds when I'm travelling at 60 or 70 miles an hour, um, and two seconds, literally, they did this exercise with us where he clicked his fingers and we had to look down and then look up when he clicked again. So it was two seconds. And he said in that time, if I was in control of my car from between 60 to 70 miles an hour, I would have travelled over 200 feet without even looking at the road. That is a long way. And when I read this this morning in the news, it's quite scary to think of what a massive 10 tonne or however it was lorry 
um, the damage that can obviously do in that amount of time. Now, this guy has obviously been, um, yeah, out of control of his his lorry for a mammoth amount of time in those three days. Each each text message, over a hundred text messages, and I guess it takes anything between thirty to forty five seconds to type a, a short text message. Um, it's quite scary, and yeah it's quite staggering and I know that this is happening all the time we're all doing it all the time distracted in one way or another but my point was that just because I wasn't texting didn't mean that I wasn't actually distracted from focusing on my driving and while this guy has been charged and made a big, big example of um, it's it's difficult because we all know that we all live with our communication devices and we have things and we need to communicate with people and we need to answer phones and we're distracting in a whole range of ways while we're driving. But I think it's really topical for me at the moment because it was a wake-up call going on that course. And reading this is kind of alarming. Um, and yeah, I know that in the States it's not illegal, or as far as I'm aware it's not illegal because they're always showing it on TV and people are answering their phone or sending text messages or even posting things on Twitter or Instagram while they're driving their cars. So I'm guessing it's not illegal. Um, here in New Zealand it is illegal, but they don't seem to enforce it very strictly and people seem a lot more relaxed about it. Because I've been on this course, and because I'm now reading this um, news headline today, I'm really uncomfortable when I see somebody in charge of their phone and driving. So I guess I'd really love to know, in response to this video today, super long video, almost seven minutes, I'd really like to know where you live, what the rules are, and what your thoughts are on um, yeah, using your phone, whether it's to text or make a call while you're driving. So happy Vader Day, uh, something a little bit more on track for me, and I will see you tomorrow for the penultimate day of Vader.